Howdy ho, everybody. I missed you guys. I feel like it's been a minute. Happy Mother's Day to everyone. Uh, whether they're your kids, they're your fur babies, whatever. But this message is for the collective. So it's a general read. Uh, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Um, but while I was shuffling, and this is for all signs, and so this is going to pertain to the full moon in Scorpio coming up on Saturday. Okay, I'm making sure I turn my mic on because, you know, people be like, I can't hear you. Okay, so when I was shuffling, I kept, actually this morning, I was so sleepy when I woke up, but I just kept feeling this urge like, I don't know, I was so tired, and then all of a sudden I got all this energy out of nowhere, and I was like, I'm pumped, let's do this. And I just felt like something is about to change. There's change lurking somewhere. Oh, crap, okay. I said that I wouldn't take these cards that fall on the floor, but they fell face up, but I'm gonna put it back in the deck anyway. So when I shuffled at the bottom of the deck was change, and I did feel like that. And so the advice card that I pulled first for you guys was hope. And it just feels like if you've been in like a dark place or maybe if you've been asleep, because this person is asleep, this is the first card out, Neptune, sacrifice. This is like seven of cups, so it's like confusion. If you felt like you were in a dark place, like there is light at the end of this tunnel. Yeah. Like clarity's coming in. Like a new day. Like with the 10 here, like there's a completion of something. Something came full circle. And I feel like you're balancing, you're balancing stuff out. Like, whoa, whoa, whoa. That's a lot of cards, but they fell face up. And I said, all right, so let's just take them. Fuck it. Pluto. Ooh with a 12th house and the third house. Okay, so this is good, thanks spirit. And at the bottom of the deck we have 11th house, which is the collective, so perfect. Gang's all here. All right, so right off the top, like I just feel like there is like a level of like pessimism where if you, like I said, if you did feel confused or something of that nature, like clarity's coming in, but I feel like with the completion of something, this is like the Six of Swords, with the transformation, something really did come full circle, something really is coming full circle, and you're moving out of that, you're moving away from it, but you're moving towards something better. Um, if you've been going through uh, a spiritual journey, like, I feel like you're just, I'm not saying, no, not necessarily reaping the rewards, and you got a nine and a nine here. I like it, I like it a lot. Um, oh, and at the bottom of this deck already is the Wheel of Fortune. So I just feel really good. I just feel like, because the spiral here to me, it, it, it's always represent, uh, represented like an inward journey. Um, and then this always, I always look at, and then there, there's a full moon right here. Like you're escaping something, something is done, something is completed, some sort of chapter in your life is done. And intuitively, you know this, something about dreams Pay attention to your dreams. But this is like the Six of Swords, and I've been looking at the Six of Swords as like, so you, you know you're moving away from something or you're moving towards something, but there's a total transformation of something, someone. Um, it's like a rite of passage. Like you've been gifted. So have hope, because like, if you're here, like you're almost there. And what's so crazy is that I started a painting. Oh, sheesh. So we have two of swords. Yeah, so where there's confusion, but you're, it's like you're, it's a balancing act. But in here, he almost seems like, and look, look at that behind him. Is that a full moon? It's looking like it. I'm feeling really heavy crown chakra. See, she's wearing a crown, and this it makes me feel like crown chakra energy. Because with the swords, that's that's mental. That's air energy. And it's like, see his face? Like, he looks weary, but it's like, don't worry. Like, you're actually... Look, you on one toe. You are like, 
Even though he's one toe, you are like 10 toes down and you got this. And that, that sword is straight up. And I can also look at this as the, um, yeah, see, and at the bottom of the deck is six of pentacles in reverse. So that's like equal give and take. But in the, in the reverse, it's like not, but in this deck in particular, it's like, he is making it rain. Like maybe something with fine, cause with the green, something with financials, you might be feeling like, oh, I am just barely making it. There's hope coming in and I feel like you're looking at the sword the wrong way it's like turn that frown upside down turn out the air element oh oh look completion for sure something um with the world okay that's what I thought yeah and at the bottom of the deck strength so I feel like a lot of you are way more stronger and way more powerful than you know. Do you realize how magnificent you are? Like you're protected. Like you see like, he is like dancing around the snake. Like, you can't, you can't get me. Like I've already done this, doing this dance. Look at this orb. This is like the symbolic here. Oh, duh. But <laughs> I feel like I'm onto something. But this makes me feel like um, the two of wands, like needing to choose a direction, needing to. And I feel like that has something to do with your mind. Make up your mind about something. Have hope because something is over. You are moving into something different and you might be having dreams. The 12th house is about the unconscious or the, uh, the subconscious. This is the um, house of Pisces. Um, this is the unknown. So you're moving into the unknown and you're moving out of like you're escaping from something. More than likely, it's something you're, ex you're escaping from something dark, something toxic, because within here, it's like it's darker. And then as you come out, it's lighter. So this full moon, there's going to be a full transformation for you guys. I just, I just know that. And just know that you're stronger than your, what your mind, like your mind's playing tricks on you right now and don't let it. Tell me about Pluto. Why is Pluto here? But I remember I said something's coming full circle. Or something has come full circle. If you're not here yet, you're going to be. Sometimes I think like the when I feel like the energy is like a week out. I usually, or like a couple days. But whenever you watch this video is relevant because if you were led to it it's for you if this isn't for you then it's just not click off like whatever turn off pluto why is pluto here oh whoa 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 <laughs> wow <laughs> six of swords and then the ace of swords fell out this is the ace of swords this card right here it's relevant to that so that's the truth you are most definitely moving on to something better. But you see, in this one too, he kind of, it's like he's still like, you see he's moving out of like, I don't know, can you see this? You see he's moving out of like, it looks like very turbulent waters. So maybe this was a heartbreak or something because he's got the three of swords in the, in the boat. And it's like, you're looking at it in a different way, but you're still moving. You're, things are still moving or progressing and it. You see that they're moving towards still waters, but you you can't see it because you're looking down. You're looking at it at everything is shaky. You're looking at what's current, where you're currently standing. Look forward, look ahead to where you're going. So this could have been a breakup. This could have been um, just something like hurtful words, hurtful thoughts, moving away from whatever, however this pertains to you. And he's he's talking that dog. I swear, he's always he's always in here with me somehow. But clarity is coming. But it's like look up, look up at this. Turn that frown upside down. That's how I'm feeling. 
Yeah, and at the bottom of the deck, we got the Nine of Swords. So again, mental, um, mental energy where it's just like, these are fear-based thoughts, and but they're not real, that you're creating them. And it's like, oh my gosh, there's two swords in my back and all these others in front. What do I do? See, the seven of swords are pointing at him. It's like you're stabbing yourself in the back and the seven of swords, which is basically deceit, like you're deceiving yourself. Nine of swords, I just feel, in this deck in particular, it's like you're deceiving yourself. Turn that frown upside down, hun bun. How about the 12th house? How about the 12th house? How about the 12th house? Ooh, okay. I like this card. Okay, and at the bottom of the deck is the two of wands in reverse. And you see it's like... Usually like when it's in the in the upright, it's like you've chosen a direction or you need to choose a direction. This one is not choosing a direction, but it's like the direction's got you by the throat. And it's kind of like you just don't have room to just not do to to not change your mind because it's like whatever this is, the boat's moving, it's inevitable, it's coming. So it's like, what you gonna do, bitch? Pretty much. But it's like you kind of have to. And then with the page of cups here, I like this one because if you see at the bottom she's blindfolded and she's going towards something that's like seems impossible like a page would be something that's immature something that's um new something that is young or fresh and it's just kind of i heard wet behind the ears so going towards something that seems impossible but you're not seeing like the the tentacles that could just pretty much just like scoop you up but it's like she's happy about it because it's like she's not afraid however in the upright she has gone through that. She already went and got that. And she's coming away from it. She's like, here, I got that cup. This makes me feel like this is Pisces energy. I don't even know if the, is the Page of Cups Pisces. I'm not sure. But I see the two fish, so I just feel like that's, so you might have Pisces in your chart. And I did say, tell me about the 12th house. 12th house is the, Pis the house of Pisces coming out of something. You see this? This right here, inside of here, is this cup. This is the impossible. This is that dark night of the soul. This is what you, you had the courage. And that came out, that strength card, you had the courage to do this. You had the strength to do this. And you knew that you could and you did. Because here you come with that cup and it's coming out. And there's that purple again with that crown chakra. These might be um, psychic gifts like developing um, or just a better state of mind. A better state of mind to get you moving in physically in a direction that you need to go. Tell me about this third house. Why is this third house here? Because we all know like our thoughts are like crucial to this journey because this is how we manifest. What we think about, we bring about. Where the mind dwells, reality swells. And one simple thought can, for lack of better words, fuck up everything. Like don't fuck it up. Talking about the third house. Yeah, and I did say psychic gifts. I do feel like someone or uh, someone's like pineal gland is like decalcifying. It's like melting away, and think the veil is becoming thinner. Things are becoming clearer, and it's ooh, it's like grounded. Oh yeah, look at the bottom of the deck. It's the devil. Like ha, ah, I'll get you next time. But no, you won't. Talking about the third house. So we have the seven of swords. And I said that. What card was that? Oh, it was under here. So the hang in the bottom of the deck, we have the hangman. And we're not looking at this one. We're looking at this dude here. But this is enlightenment. You know, if you see around there, it's like he's hung up on something, but he's being enlightened. And with this seven of swords, oh, it's in the reverse. So I always look at this like, see, he's got the three of swords with him. So it's like, if this was... Whatever this was that you were feeling like hopeless about, like you actually, it's like you don't know that you did this on, not you did it on your own, but yes, you did because you did have the strength. You had to go down there. You had to go within. You had to go do that work. Now you're in a boat and it's moving. So I see this as like bowing, like take a bow. You did that. Like at one point you were probably deceiving yourself. 
but now it's like you have the because usually in the seven of swords like he's not necessarily facing uh, well, at least some of the cards that i've seen like it's like the side of his face where he's got that real weird smirk um but in this one because it's like dual side or dual sided um with this one he's facing it he's he's dealing with it he's dealt with it and he's strong within it this is like the root chakra and the sacral chakra maybe you had a kundalini awakening and you might just be feeling like you're in your power because that's how I feel right now. And this came to me last night. I was like, I am that bitch today. Not that I'm not every day, but now I know that I have like put in the work and I've done this. I did that. I just feel like this is a mastery. That's how I feel. So let me... um. I don't even know if I just really want to clarify it because I just feel like that's it. But let's um, read this this here card. But whatever it is, like you, you've you've done it. Like you have really achieved that. Like you're not no longer deceiving yourself. You're no longer deceiving. Like um, I do. I did feel like inner like energetically. You know how to balance things out. Like you know when things are coming. You know how to transmute energy to work for you because seven of swords is always like self-serving right so you have your intuition is popping right now and it's like you're utilizing it like you see like the messages are just kind of flowing down into his mind like that's that same sword right here in the mental that's here so it's like things are flowing like you're no longer confused his eyes are open regardless of the fact that it's the seven of swords erase of what you've always known about seven of swords like He's feeling like, he's feeling good. Like I did that. Cause he did, you did. So let's read hope. Behind the passing dark clouds, the sun still shines bright. Feeling overwhelmed, disconnected, afraid and defeated are a few of the symptoms you can experience when passing through an emotional storm. All is not as it seems. It's not what it looks like. The passing storm will uncover suppressed emotional energy that is in need of clearing and balancing. As challenging as it may seem, see the passing gray clouds as an opportunity to grow, learn, heal, and transform limiting behavioral patterns and beliefs. It is not about staying positive through the storm. It's about understanding and truly seeing the imbalances and wounds within you that attract this energy to your space. Clouds do pass and will continue to pass until you learn to truly see the underlying message and lesson. Only then will you transcend the fear and irritability of these challenging cycles. Once you are able to understand your magnetic connection to the challenges that surround you and heal those imbalances with love, storms will cease to affect you as they once did. For now, there is a stillness and hope in knowing that the sun still shines bright behind the passing dark clouds. It is then through this renewed clarity, inner knowing and strength, wow, that you will be able to manifest a life of choice. For no more will you see the passing storms as a destructive force to be reckoned with, but rather an opportunity to evolve to higher states of consciousness and understanding. See, that's that transmutation of energy working to your favor. It is through this act alone that you are reborn to a world of wondrous manifestations and fulfilled dreams. Wow. This is a dream coming true. This page of cups here, him, her coming out here with that. This is the making the what you thought was impossible, making it possible. So the prayer with this card. Oh, wow. And I said associated chakra to this is the, uh, the sacral chakra. Um, get you a carnelian if you don't have one. Prayer. Holy Spirit, please guide me to this situation, to see this situation with deeper clarity, love, and understanding. That was perfect. That was exactly what I was picking up on. And I just feel really good. And I hope you guys do too, because I just feel like things are about to change. And usually when I get this feeling, I'm right. I'm spot on. So things might be with the um, hangman in the back. I, I just really feel like it's just connected to this because right now it's like you just didn't realize how powerful, how magnificent you were, but you, you're going to be enlightened soon. If this didn't enlighten you, it something will. 
and you're gonna see that and see this is the number on this card is 12 yeah look with the knight of swords here at the bottom this is like truth coming in it's like you're you're tackling that with that clarity coming in and this is a 12 that's 12 ace of swords communi um, communication but clear thoughts be mindful of your thoughts be mindful of your words that you speak because you are currently manifesting something heavy so good luck to all of you guys if this resonated comment like share subscribe if you haven't done so already thank you to everyone who supports me if you want to book a reading my information is in the description box below and i love you guys and have hope for the rest of the week shit's great i know it bye